Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily download and install WebStorm on Windows. So, WebStorm is a JavaScript ID by JetBrains. Let's see. Go to the web browser. I am using Chrome. You can use any web browser. On Google, type WebStorm. Press enter. On pressing enter, the official website is visible jetbrains.com. Click on it. So, we opened it. Okay. Now you can see it is the smartest JavaScript ID. You can directly click on download. Now here you can see the download section is visible for Windows, Mac and Linux. It is available with a license key for a for a 30 day trial which is fine. Click on download. It will download now the exe file 396 MB. Let's wait. Guys, we have downloaded the exe file. Double click on it to install. Minimize this. The setup started. Click on next. It will get installed under the program files folder and a JetBeans folder will get created. Within that, the WebStorm will install. It will take 1.6 GB, which is fine. Click on next. You can create a desktop shortcut. Fine. You can also update the path variable and you can also set other associations as well but I'll keep the same and click on next. Start menu folder it will create. It's fine. Click on install and the installation started. Now you can see the setup is visible here. It created a desktop shortcut. You need to reboot now or you can manually reboot later. I'll just click on reboot now and click on finish. Let's reboot. So guys, we have rebooted. Now I'll directly click on WebStorm from here or I can go to start and type or I can go to start and type WebStorm to open it directly from here. Click on open. Here is the user agreement. Click on I confirm and click on continue. Now it will open. It got it started. Okay, from here in you can get a license. Okay, since we are not paying for it, we'll be going for the trial version 30 days. Click on start trial and you can create a JetBeans account and log in from here to work on it. Click on login. From here in, you can create an account just like we created and click on sign in. Okay, this will allow you to work on your WebStorm. So guys, in this video, we saw how we can easily download and install the WebStorm ID for JavaScript on Windows. Thank you for watching the video.